everybody, Jeff at Cutter Masters. Now we're going to sharpen a six flute countersink on the Journeyman. Um, and we're, we're using a little different setup. We're not using the indexing collar because, as we, refer, we referred to in our last video, sometimes manufacturers have proprietary grinds. They usually do this to improve finish and chip clearance. <laughs> and if you don't know what they are, or if you've got a flute that's out of time, like in a variable pitch tool or a variable tooth position tool, then you can pick up the tooth instead of using the index collar. The motor is set to level. We have the tool rest set so it's underneath the tooth. You always want to be supporting the tooth that you're grinding. And this is done. Um, we, so we rotated the tool around about seven degrees. Um, and this this will provide us just enough clearance where we won't take, you know, we won't cut uh, the tooth above off when we go past it. We have a um, one of our 180 grit plated diamond wheels on here, and now we'll just uh, so you can pull the tool away, index to the next tooth, go in and pick it up like that. So now we'll just walk around this tool. So in this case here, I've got clearance set up, and I'm just, I've got the rear index collar as a length stop, and I'm just coming up to my, land on my supported, on my two support, and then just, we'll just grind past the end. Make sure you get far away so you don't clip it when you're indexing to the next tooth. And there's your six flute carbide countersink sharpened with the individual tooth height.